It's New Beer Thursday. Woo! Woo! And uh, we're down in San Diego at the CBC with uh, the newlyweds of craft beer. Ashley and <laughs> Angelo. Um, everyone knows you as the beer wench, of yes. course. And uh, everyone knows you as Brew Public. And now we all they know didn't. you as Mr. <laughs> Brew Public. <laughs> and Mr. Mrs. Mrs. Brew Public. Public. <laughs> and Mr. Mr. Beer Wench. wench. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Brew Wench. Mr. And Brew Wench. We'll bring wench the names I prefer the Wench Public. <laughs> <laughs> the Wench Public. That's what so, we have kids. Uh, we're wench actually public. down. We're actually down here in San Diego with you guys. We're hanging out at the small bar, which is like a freaking awesome uh, craft so beer cool. place. Yeah, it's like it's it's nice and dark and like just ah, very punk rock. Very yeah. punk rock and. You I've know, actually been big here red elephant this, heads too. on the, the wall and good burger. It's, yeah, yeah, they fantastic make fantastic excellent, burger. excellent food here. So, too. and we're drinking Green Flash's Palate Wrecker. So, yeah. cheers to happy marriages and cheers. craft beer. That was not good. Cheers. cheers. This glass is mighty clean. <laughs> it's the lacing on this is exquisite. It is actually. <laughs> it's quite extraordinary. This is our first time doing Green Flash on the yeah. actual show. I think um, I've always wanted to wait and have Chuck on the show when we do Green Flash, but I mean, Palette Wrecker, we're in San Diego. It's just, it makes sense. It's, it's the first beer of the day. Yeah. yeah. So tell everybody, like, what happened with you guys. Like, this was a this was a relationship born out of craft beer. And it happened very quickly. Very fast. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much what happened. <laughs> okay, now don't start gazing <laughs> in each other's eyes and forget that you actually have to talk. <laughs> Uh, okay, well. <laughs> like, well, children. It all happened. Mom and I met. <laughs> starry night in uh, Portland, Oregon. Uh, mm-hmm. Actually, met Ashley at the uh, Holiday Ale Festival. That's kind of where we first uh, met. We've actually kind of known of each other for a while, but didn't really actually get to. Uh, Really know each other until <laughs> that event. So. We didn't know each other biblically. <laughs> well, and uh, yeah, it uh, it was uh, love at first sight. Now, was this after last year's GABF? This is after GABF. Okay, so I thought you guys kind of met at GABF a little bit. We've mm-hmm. never met. Uh, we've been in the same room. We've been in the barrel. Beer Bloggers Conference together, so we never actually formally introduced ourselves. Um, he poured me Cascade's Bubonic Plague at the BBC in nice. Boulder. I don't remember because I was drunk. Oh. Wasted. <laughs> anyway, so, Ashley drunk? Yeah, Come on. Well, no, I mean, like, the interesting thing is that I do the interview series on my site for beer bloggers, and uh, i never done him before, and I'd done a bunch of other Portland people. You've done him now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. And I was like, man, I've already done everyone else in Portland. Why not? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's true, though. <laughs> He's it's like, true. it's true. My wife is such a slut. So, well, no. So, so, I realized that I I was at first I was hesitant about Portland people because it's Portland. Just, there was a few of them that I didn't get along with, and so I kind of put Portland on a different plane from everyone else. And then once I started integrating <laughs> myself into their culture and visiting a lot more, uh, I. I followed his site a little bit closer, and I wanted to interview him. And so when I interviewed him, I got all these pictures. I was like, oh, God, he's so cute. And I posted on Facebook, and I was like, oh, beer crush. And then a bunch of my other friends were all all over that, too. They were like, oh, look, we love bearded men. And so then the first time <laughs> we actually physically in we person yeah, <laughs> hung out was at the Holiday Elf Fest. We had been talking for a while up until that point. You told me you loved me oh, at the Holiday Elf Fest. Nice. Aww. It was probably and you beer. looked at him in the eye it and I prob- like you too. A lot. Because <laughs> that's what happens when men put themselves out there like that. Women take their hearts and they just crush them and step no, I'm sorry. No, I actually, <laughs> I actually ended up telling him later that night after a couple more beers, I was like, I think I'm going to marry you. Nice. And you actually did it. Actually, actually I, I was did more it. of marry me. And then he was like, oh, okay. And then <laughs> we got our marriage license on January 6th. So we met on December Oh, it's been 3rd? that long? Yeah. And oh. January 6th, no, that's when we got the license. So nobody oh. knew that we had the plans. And then um, March 15th was the day we eloped. So we did it in San Francisco at the, the court. Is there John a reason why DJ. you chose to elope? Did you not want to have a huge, like, 
Whoa. craft beer spectacle of weddings where everybody showers you with Pilsner as you run down the aisle? Well, we definitely want to make a celebration out of it. We want to have our own beer festival probably in 2013. Okay. Um, it's kind of like the nuptial beer fest, but... Uh, Unlike your anniversary in 2013, or...? We're going to milk it as long as we can. <laughs> yeah, well, that, I mean, that's, that's the unfortunate part about getting married and eloping, um, is that you don't have the proper wedding, so you don't get the proper celebration and the money and the present. <laughs> the gifts. Yeah, the, the gifts. But we didn't, I mean, like, I, I think weddings, it's it's all up to people. We wanted to make a promise to each other because we were, we're, t- we're in two different states right now, and it was more of a commitment that we needed to make while we were apart to make sure that we were... You gonna yeah. stay faithful? Yeah, it's not, I don't think it was more of a, yeah, we don't have the faithful issue. I think it was just more of, we had to prove to each other that we were going to do things and move and all that sort of stuff. Because if you just date forever, you can say, oh, yeah, right. I'll move, I'll move. Don't worry, you'll move. Well, I'll I, move, you, you'll in move. this industry, we all travel quite a bit. Yeah. And so, I mean, even though you live two states away, it's not like you're not going to see them four or five times a year anyway. And so it, it, I can see how you would totally get that impression where it'd be like, yeah, it'd be easy just not to ever really see each other. And so, and, you know, never feel the need to move or. But yeah, that's cool. So I mean, how how's that gonna work? Is the beer wench moving to Portland, or is Brew Public moving to San Francisco? Yes. I know. I know that it's a dumb <laughs> question because obviously the woman always takes precedent. All right. So yeah, I'm moving to uh, Berkeley uh, end of this month. Oh, cool. So I'll be packing up my life and sayonara, beer so what's that, Yeah. What's that? What's that say for the Portland beer industry or Portland beer scene? Because I mean, you're a They're big part out. of it. Yeah, you're. <laughs> well, you're a big are. part of the Portland scene. Well, there's probably like five new blogs that just started while I've been gone for the last two days. Yeah. That's so. Well, yeah. So I'm sure blogs fine. versus good blogs is a different situation. Oh, thanks. So. Thanks, man. No, um, I don't know. I'm gonna try to maintain, you know, both. So I still want to kind of represent the Northwest as right. much as I can. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get a real job, and uh, you know, get a real job. He's like, yeah, maybe this blogging thing, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so. but, or I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, right it's kind on. of a lot of questions still that I think about a lot, but. I guess I won't really know until I actually make the move, so we'll see yeah. how it goes. Well, you guys are young. You get to do that kind of stuff still. Yeah. I'm so old now. I have well, to, I'm just the, stuck in my life. The interesting part <laughs> about I like what, it or not. <laughs> what Angelo does in Portland is really great, but it, it can be replicated in any other city. Right. Uh, and we need that in Northern California. You know, up there, Portland has a beer event like every five minutes. <laughs> you know, and it's well organized, well executed, well promoted. They have everything down, and he's one of the, the guys that does all the marketing. And you know, he'll create an event. He'll get all the breweries to get the beer, and, and then he'll promote it and market it, and it'll be a huge success. And nobody down in the Bay Area is really doing that for all the craft breweries. Right. So I mean, a couple of us we do our own things, but it would be really cool to have somebody who's more about the culture of the Bay Area craft beer scene, like they are up in Portland. So. Well, I think it's ironic <coughs> that uh, as much hate as you put towards Portland for that period of time. Because you were pretty vitriolic about it. Oh, you I were was, like, I, I hate Portland. Portland, Portland can suck it. I know. I brought it. voodoo dolls. And then the first time what? I ever went to Portland, I, I got <laughs> voodoo dolls and I brought them with me. Yeah, so then what do you do? You go up to Portland and you find good craft beer and a good husband. That's weird. <laughs> Great husband. <laughs> Thanks. Well, well cheers. Uh, congratulations. Cheers. Thanks, you guys. Thanks a lot. So we're here at the Craft Brewers Conference, and um, neither one of you are craft brewers. Well, you are. Technically, yeah, yeah I just consider so, it a craft beer. Yeah, you know? I just it, it's like I for, I forget that you work at Bison. Sometimes. Everyone does. I keep on walking around the conference and I still think that I'm just media blogger. They're like, why are you in this panel? Um, you know, uh, what was it? <laughs> the favorite favorite word was. Not infiltrating, penetrating. Penetrating, yeah. Penetrating. I was like, that's such an awkward Shame. panel name. I know. And then he kept on saying the word penetrating, and he was like, some people are harder to penetrate than others. And I was well, like, true. He was like, but persistence. And I was like, isn't that rape? Wow. <laughs> Raping the retail market. No, but people were like, what are you doing here? And I was like, um, I manage distributors, and I need to know how to get into chain stores. They're like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Suck it. And I have Saison to Wench coming out. I need pink four packs. Yeah, I saw pink? that. Pink? Really? Roses and hibiscus flowers make things pink. And then Saison to Wench is like Because if you start marketing for women, 
I'm gonna slap you because oh, that's no. you can't you Trust can't me. redo that. Honestly, I thought the same thing too when I saw that it was pink. I was like, hmm. It's yeah. hot pink, but the packaging won't be hot pink. But the way the graphic designer girl was like inspired by it was like she she kind of gave it a uh, Middle Ages kind of look and feel because it stays on to wench so that the hand the the writing the graphics for the stays on to wench or a little bit that and then it's got like kind of oldy flowers like on it and then like the hibiscus is kind of tropical like i don't know it's it's interesting it looks like the honey basil package in a weird way because right. that's synced with our brand so yeah the pink like i said I, it was but it'll kind stand of, out on the shelf which right is why it looks I wanted good it. and it was yeah. like well i know it's not pink because it's a girl beer it's pink because it looks good yeah um, and it works with the label but no, for a split a second beer. it was like I'll yeah it. yeah it's pink oh, whatever. <laughs> now it's actually a very delicious beer and i can't drink enough of it so i've I never had, had, had it GABF so. last year yeah mm -hmm. well, as by the picture as it's brewed i'll send you guys some or Sweet. i'll come down and we'll do a video and we we'll talk about it yeah. uh no this is your this is we've reached your limit you can never be on a new beer thursday show again two that's it? Yeah. Until next year. Until next year. <laughs> no. We'll get to do it. You know you're welcome on our show anytime <laughs> you want. So. Winner. And now you can bring your man with you every time. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just keep staring at him. I like bearded he's men like, as well. He's so. like, really, did I really do this? That's yeah, what he's, he's like, right now. Know. It's like. I, I was told this would be an interview and not some weird beer porn. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I think the reality is setting in. He's like, wow, <laughs> these questions, they're hard. Well, um, since we're in San Diego and we are drinking Green Flash Palette Wrecker, Beer Wench. Yes. Show your stuff. What are you talking about this beer? All right. You know, you're, you are like the queen of tasting beer, so. It was funny. I was uh, on the conference floor and I'm very honest about it. I didn't pass the tasting portion of the Cicerone, but I passed the other one. And Nicole comes running down after me. I walked away. She was like, Ashley, 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 I have a spot open today at 2. And I was like, yeah, not no. going to take the Cicerone right now. <laughs> <laughs> I had a palate wrecker. Listen, yeah, exactly. Like, I'm not no. going to be able to taste anything. It's actually not really that palate wrecking. No, this, is, uh, this was originally, I believe, Hamilton's second anniversary beer that they brewed for yeah. Hamilton's. Um, and yeah, on the board, they call it Hamilton. It's got to be a little high yeah. in alcohol, though. So, um, it's a double IPA. So. Double IPA. So, I'm I mean, at the sure time when this came out, it was, I mean, the last year or so, we've seen these, like, super hoppy five. beers that, have, that are just, like, totally insane and absurd that are being brewed. They taste amazing. They're great. But it's like, ah. Um, so... But now that we, uh, back in the day when this was brewed, this was like at the top of the hop food chain. Yeah. So, you know, it's like. It's still it's a, a pretty it's a different extreme kind of beer. I mean, right. there's a lot going on with yeah, it. I think it's like Ashley wrecking, said, yeah. It's, it's, I understand why they call it Palette Wrecker, but the first time I had it, I was like, oh, you know, I could see why they'd say that, but it's right. not. I think it's more of a name than a descriptor for the beer. I right, think. exactly. So, yeah. But it's a delicious beer. Yeah, well, I really enjoy it. Uh, yeah. It's pretty balanced. Uh, it's got enough bitterness to it without really destroying my palate. Alcohol, I can feel it, so it's a sipper. Definitely, yeah. For sure. Yeah. I don't think it's that balanced, personally. Yeah. I think it's a, it is a palate wrecker, and I think <laughs> it is really bitter. Nice, and I, people. I, I don't know. No, Portland's <laughs> all about hops. Man. Just, we got more I'm hops than anywhere. But like, he's like, we grow your hops, motherfucker. What? Really it's true. Yeah. It's interesting because exactly. I think in California we're used to mostly pale malts as a base mm -hmm. and very little specialty. You can look at the color. Like this. It's clearly a this majority does, of two yeah, row and this does not look like it would be a typical double IPA. Think about Dogfish Heads 90 Minute, which is all a lot of malt and dark caramel right. flavors and stuff. And so our IPAs tend to be a very light, which allows the citrus and the bitterness of the hops right. to shine through, but at the same time can be unbalanced for people. Yeah. And uh, Portland does a lot of the same kind of thing with their, as the East Coast. They do a lot of the darker malts, yeah. a lot of more specialty malts, and so you get a, a lot more balanced. Um, like Ninkasi. Yeah, that. Ninkasi, and, and you know, even uh, a lot of the uh, Deschutes beers have a lot of color to them, a lot of body to them, so. Yeah. Um, all right, well, this has been fun. <laughs> we like them light in color, high in bitter, and high in alcohol out here. Pretty much. We like our IPAs like we like our women. 
Light and bitter. Sexy. <laughs> and they go down easy. Oh, wow. I don't know what light and bitter You said like I don't you either. like our woman. I, I, thought, I thought I had something going there, and then I was like, no, it's gone. So I'll just come up with something else. No. And then I almost did something that I thought might be kind of racist. So I was like, no, let's just stop. <laughs> well, just... back in the day when I used to work in wine, I used to describe wine with adjectives as opposed to flavor characteristics because people, they want to attach themselves to emotions and things. Right. So I used to call wine sexy sometimes when it was a slut. I'd be like, it's slutty. And it goes down really easy. That's all I can say. <laughs> AKA, nice. it's a fruit bomb. But you know, nice. like, there's different ways. If you can just, like, get that with somebody, you're like, yep, this beer, it's kind of a slut. Nice. And on that note, <laughs> <laughs> we are going to wrap things up. Yeah, Green uh, Flies, if you, you want to put that on your packaging, just make sure to get the credit. It's yeah. a slutty beer. It's a slutty, slutty beer. beer. Uh, so, congratulations again. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Um, we're all very happy for you. Very proud of you. For I feel like me and Steve should kiss and hug too. But we're not gonna just later kind of balance everything out. <laughs> it's like, so uh, <laughs> yeah, this is now getting a little bit strange. So I don't know what's happening right now. But uh, until next time, stay safe and drink beer. Cheers. Thank you guys. Cheers this beer. What Cheers. are you doing? Cheers. <laughs> this is why you don't bring newlyweds on the show. <laughs>